What is good here, buddy? YouTube? We back at it again with another video. Finally, I know I keep making uh, these intros, but I always apologize for not posting, and then I continue to not post. But you know, it's whatever, because we back at it again with another banger. Um, yeah, let's get right into it. Let's keep this intro short, and let's run it. So today we do have, as you can see from the title of this video, the How to Legit Check Yeezy 350 V2 in the Earth colorway. So for those of you that do not know, these were actually a United States exclusive, I believe. I believe it was a US exclusive. So there was three colorways, of these, or there was three exclusive region releases. There was these. There was these, there was the tail lights, which are like gray with an orange back. And then there's the flaxes, which are an Asia exclusive. Um, we got he these here today. So I'm going to, you know, give y'all a little review on them and then hopefully be able to legit check them if you are interested in purchasing a pair. So yeah, let's hop right into it. Let's start with the actual box first. As you can see, it is your standard Yeezy 350 box. Nothing special about it, blah, blah, blah. Just open size tag as you can see right there easy 350 v2 size 11 and a half earth 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 all that basically your normal easy box and then for these one it's just a regular standard paper and then nothing on the inside and then i just have the receipt inside So moving on to the shoes, as you can see them right here. In camera, for example, this little midsole right here, in camera it looks more green, but then the uppers look about the same color. So really what this reminds me of is like a darker version of the Oxford Tan B2. If anyone had those and you know what those look like, they were dope. I like these a lot. I kept seeing different pictures about these. And like, they looked different in every picture that I actually saw. All right, so what we're gonna begin with is the actual just overall look of the shoe. As you can see, it's like a brown, olive looking type of shoe with the yellow heel tab on the back. And of course the boost, like so. Okay, so let's start from the inside of the shoe going out. And this is the right shoe, same thing, obviously. So on the inside of the shoe, you do have your regular, you know, toe box paper stuffing, right? There's nothing new about that. Then you have the actual insole. I know it looks kind of grayish black on camera, but in person and good lighting, it almost looks like a, like a really dark olive green. It's really weird. I like the color, so. You know, that's that. And then on the bottom, here you go. It looks really black on camera on the bottoms. But yeah, it's, it's that same like dark green, dark brown type color, whatever. Here's the Yeezy logo, as you can see right there. Adidas Yeezy should be perfectly lined up, centered. I know a lot of fakes, they have like small tilts in them or they tilt to the top, toward the bottom, whatever. A lot of fakes have that. So as you can see right there, the size tag made in China, this is an 11 and a half. I've seen others with production dates that start in 120 and then some that start in 1219. As long as like it's around that range, then it should be good. Okay, so that's that for the size tag. Let's go ahead and put everything back together. As you can see, the laces are like a regular thickness. You know, nothing too special about that. One thing I did notice on these though, if you can see right here, you see how like the stitching goes down the sides, but you don't see any cross stitching on the middle. Like you just see where it's like put together. Like for example, on older Yeezys, you can see like the cross stitching go across to connect the whole shoe. But on these ones, it's just one, one line of stitching going up across it. Same thing throughout the whole shoe on the back as well. Opposed to the regular, as you can see, it's like that cross stitching. And as you can see, the bottoms are like a darker shade than this. This is actually more like a really dark gum, kind of like to the Yebras. And then this is more brown in person, like I said earlier. Then you have the yellow tab. It's a little bit darker yellow in person. I feel like the colors on this shoe 
which is really hard to capture on camera. Like, unless you have the perfect lighting for them, then you can't really capture it. I have like one or two photos that capture it like pretty close, but like I said, it's still a little bit off. But yeah, right now, these are sitting around like 280 to 300 resale. So yeah, uh, how do I feel about them? Personally, I think they are fired. I think it's one of the better Yeezys that's came out recently. You know, I kind of got tired of all the same colors like the Citroen, the Synths. I said that right, right? I don't even know. But you know, and also one thing that I absolutely like more on a 350 is when it has the pull tab. Cause like, I don't know, it's just like a staple to me. I don't like it when it doesn't have the pull tab. It doesn't give off the same vibe, if that makes sense. I personally see them going up in price probably in a couple months, especially the smaller sizes. Smaller sizes are already doing about 300 and up, but yeah. So here you can see the three stripes in the Adidas. Should be, you know, perfectly parallel and whatnot. Here's how the tongue should be sitting like that. The stripe, of course, see through. See the pull tab. Here's a close up on the boost. You can see good texture on it. One thing I did notice about these is that there's like a lot of glue stains. Like for example, if you see right here, there's a glue stain. All across this is like one big glue stain. Um, for example, right here, there's like some, it looks kind of like glue to me, I'm not sure. And yeah, I know like, you know, a shoe's not supposed to be perfect or whatever, but compared to the, all the other 350s that I own, I feel like these have the worst quality control out of all of them. But you know, that's just luck of the draw. I'm sure not every pair is like that, but my pair in particular did come with a lot of like those little factory flaws, but yeah. Not much else to it. You know, look for the main flaws, which is like size tag. Something I like to look a lot is, for example, the size tag. I don't even know if you can see, hold up. The size tag, as you can see right there, has like a little dot on top of the QR code. One thing that fakes like to do a lot is leave out that dot on top of the QR code. So that's what I like to look for. And then obviously, you know, just feel the boost, see how it feels. Sometimes it's too stiff or it can be like way too soft. The laces, they should be like a good length. It shouldn't be too thin. It's definitely a shoe that for me, I had to get in my collection just to see, you know, how it looked in person. And once I saw it in person, I was like, yep, they're for me. So yeah, it's a hit or miss shoe for people. Let me know how y'all feel in the comments. Just a quick little video, you know, warming things back up. Hopefully I can start posting more recently, but yeah. Make sure to follow the Instagram. All that's down low in the description. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Let's try to get to a thousand, you feel me? We're like at 750 right now. So yeah, just a quick little video. So without further ado, have a good day, night, whatever it may be, and I'll catch you on the next one.